Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Diary of an Inner Fat Girl. I am here with wedding guru extraordinaire, Funke Wagner! I was so happy. <laughs> Actually, Funke, you remember you DM me a lecture, how far, what are we doing our show? Exactly. Okay, yes. <laughs> this is awesome. So, we're actually starting different today because of you. Okay. Everybody, if you follow Funke on Instagram, apart from the fact that she loves dancing, which is why I love her, but she also loves coke. <laughs> yes. She has a serious coke friendship. I don't want to say addiction. Yeah, yeah. I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> but she has a serious friendship with coke. And I wanted to start off this episode, I've never done this before, with an aperitif. And I have learned how to make low carb coke. That's right, you're going to say Sharon has come again. Listen, there is a low carb alternative to everything. So we're going to get started. Before we start eating, I think we should have a nice drink to sip on while we're cooking. Okay. So I'm gonna put, I always put everything in wine glasses because I just feel you should feel, I don't know. Special. Exactly. <laughs> so here it goes. The first step, oh, so the ingredients for making our low carb Coke, believe it or not, balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So balsamic vinegar is basically like what you put on salad dressing, it's a seasoning, but this is a low carb alternative to making Coke. We also have, um, monk fruit sugar. So it's like sugar extracted from a fruit. It's just, it, it, it so has, it's good for you? Yes, it's good, it's better for you. <laughs> and I think that it digests better okay. than uh, sugar. We have some sparkling water. And then I also mixed some lemon juice. So, you know, cause I kind of like a little bit of lemon with my drinks. So it's a really easy recipe and I'm just gonna show you exactly what to do. So step number one, me, I'm, me, you're cooking for me. Ah, Thank you. Okay, all right. Ice inside of okay. this. So now the next step, I think I'm going to do this. We're going to conservatively drop some balsamic vinegar in. Okay. It kind of already looks like Coke a yes, little bit. Yes, it's looking like Coke already. <laughs> Do you understand? And so we're going to put a bit of monk fruit sugar. Mm -hmm. And I want us to add as we see fit. Next step, add some soda water. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, good. So like how? Yeah. Just oh, keep wow. going. That's looking... It's very cokey. Very cokey already. You know, the gas is looking, I can see the yeah, gas. Pour it all in. Pour, pour everything. Yeah, yeah, go okay. ahead. So, we're gonna mix, 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 mix. And I'm going to add a little bit of our lemon juice. I'm excited. <laughs> You're excited. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so the first thing, <laughs> let's taste it a bit so we know if we need to add or take anything away. Smells like Coke. Okay, well, it has well, a let, me, let me, let me, until I taste it, okay. until I taste it. <laughs> maybe a little. More maybe, lemon or more sugar? Maybe a little bit of sugar. Let me taste my, <laughs> let me taste it as well. So a little bit of sugar. It's like, she's like, hold on. Maybe, just a little bit. A bit more, a just a bit. More. Yes. It's like a, one of my mocktails that I drink. God bless you. Oh. That's exactly what we are going for. Because I was on a mission. Because I know I'd seen it. I was like, oh, <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Wait. <laughs> you can't believe it, right? It's like a mocktail. It's, it's like a mocktail. mocktail. It's oh. like a mocktail. <laughs> okay, so let's serve it up. Okay, so we've made our coke, which you are still mesmerized, right? Yes. Okay, I'm so let sorry. me, you'll be zipping it as we're cooking. So we have our coke and we'll just cheers to that. Let's taste it. Not bad. Oh. Sasha, <laughs> my coke, <laughs> <laughs> No, it's okay, it's just No. no. I couldn't take that sip. It was very nice. Nice. Very nice. So, wow. Very nice. I'm going to keep on working on different ones, mm, but yes. not bad at all. I'm quite uh, impressed. Uh, this is nice. Well done, Rona. Mm. Okay, guys, we're going to be back and we're going to start cooking. Okay, 
guys. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're back and we've enjoyed our Coke and we'll be drinking more later. And so now today we are making chicken taco salad. Okay. Are you a salad right. person? Me, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a chicken person. Okay. Uh -huh. So the way you have so to I look like at that it place. is... I like what you said. We are this. making a deconstructed shawarma. Deconstructed shawarma. <laughs> That's what a chicken taco salad is, okay. basically. Okay, so let me introduce you to our ingredients. We have some low-carb almond flour oh. tortillas. Okay, low-carb. Yes. Low-carb. Yes, All and right. I got this from a Nigerian <laughs> company, a local company called Low Carb NG. Okay. And oh, okay. they go, they make these wraps in coconut and also in almond. Oh, okay. So you can make, so whenever you see me eating shawamas and stuff like that, oh, that's where I get my roll. Okay. And trust me, it's, it's the same flatness as the normal ones, but the digestion. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. It's, it makes such a difference. So we've got that. So let me show you everything before we get started. Mm -hmm. We also have chicken breast, okay? And I actually pre-seasoned it. Okay. Um, however you want, you know, you salt, any, pepper. Okay. Do you understand? I would avoid, you know, uh, things that have food coloring and stuff. So salt, pepper, curry, cameroon pepper. That's enough. Okay. Do you understand? You don't need to add too many extra things because sometimes, even in like your condiments, you'll find that it adds to your adds weight off. gain. Okay. Do you understand? Because it makes your body uh, bloated. Oh. That's what coloring, gluten, and all these things do. They actually create an adverse re um, reaction in your stomach oh, and okay. your body, and it causes you to swell. Oh, okay. So that's why sometimes you'll find that when you go on a, on a detox, uh -huh. you just find that ah, I'm losing weight. No, it's just that you, you have, you're, you're swelling. It's natural. You're not doing anything. God bless you. Okay. And so then we have shredded um, cabbage. We have lettuce because we're still making a salad. Uh, we have apples. I like apples in my salad, okay. so I just thought we'd try that. Tomatoes. We have avocado, salsa, Greek yogurt, um, sour cream, raisins, and onions. So it seems like a lot of things, but by the time we put it together, okay. it's wait. gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> so the first step we're going to do is we're going to start to create our taco shells. So go ahead and pick one out and you're just going to place it inside. So we have our low carb NG almond flour tacos and we're putting this into our chicken taco shell maker. So all you do is as simple as this. Just there you go. Oh, boom. And it just forms it for you. God bless you. You uh -uh. don't have to stress you out. Oh my goodness. But when I didn't have this, uh, you're not, I would not I start would, pressing. Mm -mm, I, I would, would just take a bowl like okay. this and turn it upside down oh. and just place the, oh. do you understand, the thing on top and put it in an oven safe mm -hmm. container mm -hmm. and just put it in the oven. Now, you know, the fat way of doing it would be to deep fry it. And trust me, we'll do <laughs> so good. You, in fact, Chicken taco salad is one of those like things that can be fake healthy. Uh, Do you understand? Because the big bread and then all the fried chicken. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I've now shown you the healthier, healthier version. version. So okay. step one, let's put it in the oven. Do, do, do. So now that we've done our chicken tacos, it's time to make the filling. But you know what? I also still want to find out loads of gist about you. So as you're cooking the chicken, I'll be throwing loads of questions. So first thing, how long have you been, oh, here you go. Okay. How long have you been in the wedding I'm, and would I, I would say yes, events industry? Because it's not just weddings, you do mm -hmm. birthdays and other things. Yes, we do different types of events. Okay. So, yes, social, lifestyle and different types. So I've been planning events for um, 18 years now. In fact, more um, seriously, I would say, 18 years, but casually, maybe 19 to 20. Oh, wow. So yes. it was like a passion? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you say you did, did you do it out of school or? Ah, wow. This was, you know, I'd always been, if you know me, well, you know, I'm very, um, you know, yes. very um, energetic. Yes, yes, you yes. You know, bubbly and things like that. So I'd always organized events for my friends. I'd always okay, so you are the one that like, ah, forget what's what Yes, we okay. need to do this and sort that out and yes, put it yes. there, you know. So I'd always done that. So, and that's how we started. So after law school, I started 
going so you're a lawyer country. oh yes I so you. i feel like that actually makes a lot of sense to me as far as like organization yes structure yes yes because as much as you're an event planner mm -hmm. i know that your business has a lot of many parts structure details you know so many parts yes awesome mm -hmm. you know what's so funny there was a there was a a basket mouth concert in Echo Hotel many years ago, like 2007-8. Okay. And you were pregnant and you were sitting oh. right in front of me. Are you serious? I swear, it's the most random thing. I just thought about it. <laughs> and I remember you were playing with your husband and you were doing like this. And I was dating one very wicked boy at the time. <laughs> and you were like, look at look at how she just pushed this head. And I was just like, ah, I hope I can play with my own boyfriend like this guy is mad. So we've actually met, no. but that was, when, that was when Echo Hotel had that yes, tent. Yes, yes. Remember, you used to have that and tent at the yes. back, yes. Oh, so wow. That was many, many times. And uh -huh. then also, I met you again at um, at Naomi's wedding now. Yes, yes. So that, yes. that's a few times. So, speaking of weddings, the face of weddings, that's probably one of the major changes we've seen in society right now because of COVID. Yeah. Give us the gist. What's been going on with that? Ah, the wow. Madam, don't Covid neglect your, don't neglect your chicken. Ah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> because when you started talking about wedding, I forgot food. I mean, your, your, real, your real food. You know? So COVID has really... Um, COVID came to disrupt the industry. You yeah. know, a little bit. You know, because, I mean, we've always been very flamboyant. Large weddings, big events, you know, celebrations. And, you know, weddings are about people just celebrating together, hanging out together and laughing, dancing. Right. With COVID, you can't touch, you can't, um, you can't, you can't interact, you, can't interact like you know, and everything. So, first of all, it hit the industry. You know, people had to start rethinking how to plan events. Correct. What should we do differently? And then, of course, we now started doing micro events. You, you know, you actually moved pretty fast on that. Yes. Because I remember that first video you did. Yes, yes. That you already did. I said, ah, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> when I saw you. <laughs> So, you know, you, so you're doing micro mall now? Yes, micro mall. We're doing a lot of micro events. And when I'm saying micro events, we're doing events of 12 people, 50 people. That is micro, micro. Micro That's mini. Large, girl. That's yes, large. you know. <laughs> but then you now do the 200, 250. We're used to doing 1,000. That's 1, the normal 500, thing for you. 800, exactly. So now we're doing that. We're doing smaller events. We're doing virtual events. Hmm. You know, so people are doing their 50 guests. They're doing their 12, but they're now doing everything else virtually. Right. But the other people that can't come. That can't come because that they don't want to come. Yeah, because celebrations are, you know, people still have to celebrate. It still has to continue. There's nothing yes, you can, that's true. you know, do about that. You have to still continue. But how do you do it safely and responsibly? So that's one of the things that we had to just, you know, adapt and evolve into. Mm. You know? That yeah. makes a lot of mm -hmm. sense. Okay, so the chicken is almost done. Yes. And I am going to get us started on salad prep. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we actually have gotten right into it and we are making our salad leaves. So basically what we've done is you take a salad leaf and we're actually using our fingers to cut it because when you cut it with a knife, it gives you those brown edges and we just want our salad to look nice and fresh. So Funke, I actually want to know, have you ever had a wedding where you're like, oh my gosh, I have the ideal clients, there's no budget. Then after a while, even you, you're like, uh, uh calm down. The money you guys are spending is too much now. I'll try and even maybe stop them from spending as much. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> actually, this has happened really like loads and loads of I'm times. Actually, I'm not surprised, actually. I'm yeah. not surprised. So we've had, we've had clients that I, I, I'm looking and I'm like, oh my God, no. We don't need to do that. We actually yeah. don't need to do that. Yeah. But you know what? Um, I remember one of our brides one time, she was doing and she just, I felt she was kind of like spending a lot of money. Right. And I said to her, you don't need to have that. You don't need to do this. And she went to report me. Uh -uh. Yes, she went to report She reported me to another person and said, oh, she doesn't want me to have the wedding of my dreams. Uh, okay. Oh, and I said, oh, I'm so sorry. So I actually realized as well that when people have a dream and they have a vision, vision. and they have the money, to spend right yeah, your spend job it. is to i mean well my job or our job is to actually just try and get them to spend and try and get them to achieve that dream but do it in a way that they don't feel like you are trying to stop them from achieving yes it. so that so so a lot of people management yes would you say so i mean i hate to go there but you know there has been lots of breakups of marriages and stuff like that 
do you ever feel like as a wedding planner you can kind of be like mm, god i'm going to just say a little extra prayer hold on let me move this for you i'm going to just say a little extra prayer uh for this couple or whatever the case may be where you can just notice that uh, maybe or is it difficult it's not it's not easy to tell so this is it there, there have been marriages there have been weddings we've planned that i've thought this ones will break up next year yes they are big but there are some that I thought that they would break up and they're still strong. That Ten years, said, they're, they're still like, married, ah, you God. know. But, and there's some that I didn't see coming. Hmm. Some, I just thought, I thought it was, they were perfect. Even though some, even in the, in the, in the beginning stages, stages, even when we're uh, planning, in the planning process, yes. you know, I would see that I think something may go wrong here. So, a lot of times, we pray for our couple. I was just about to say, you we have to. We pray for all of them. There's no one we don't pray for. Because mm. it's so important for, for me, as, as, a, as an individual, yes. for us as a company, to see our clients succeed. Yes. And when they succeed, we are happy. Yes. So, we can come back and celebrate with them First for all the anniversaries. anniversaries. And they can, that can only happen when they are together. Correct. So, but I understand that, you know, a lot of times, people go into this events or marriages as i would say without maybe a lot of knowledge without a lot of you know trying to i would say understanding commitment and then there's sometimes that there are a lot of lies and then there's people, a lot of factors. yeah and then people also see some of these signs before they get married that one is 100 people see that one is you know I've, I've had a bride that i've told her, i said are you sure you want to marry this guy yes i'm not sure you should marry this guy this particular are you one sure? for said, your for your planner to I, ask you yes you know, you i said know. it was very okay and they got married you know, so I, but I, at the same time, as much as I want to also celebrate and collect your money, I also care about no, the and welfare. I, and I think, and that, I, I, I think, I think that that actually is clear because you're, you've been in business for so long because there's a certain level of confidentiality. Yes. There's a certain level of, because I find that you probably get a lot of referrals. Yes. Everybody's, because I find like there's a crowd that we know that they are using phone care. Yes. yes. Because they are anti, they're sitting, in fact, somebody's wondering, we know that if they didn't use it, they probably just couldn't afford it. Oh. No shade. <laughs> oh my God. No shade. No, but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad mm -hmm. thing. Yes, but no, no, no. But I just feel like there's, there's a certain delicateness that comes with the job. Yes, yes. And if not handled with care. Mm -hmm. You know, because I saw this meme the other day that said that it's not about whether the person offended you, it's about whether you think they're offended yes. and that other people are not responsible for your yes. triggers. Yes. I think in everyday life, correct, mm -hmm. but in customer service, incorrect. 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 Extremely you could, incorrect. You could be doing your thing and thinking, hey, I'm keeping to the rules and thoroughly offending mm -hmm. your customer. So it just mm -hmm. depends, you get mm -hmm. on what you want. So ah, this is just a too, but, <laughs> but, but, but we have to cook. I'm telling you, so <laughs> what I've done now uh, because I'm bougie like that. After we cut up our lettuce, I like to dry it. I don't like wet food. Mm -hmm. I don't like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. food, and I feel like salad can be that way. So you hold it, oh, yeah, pull. In fact, I'm seeing some gadgets that I've never seen before in my life. Yeah, oh, just, no, pull it like a long. Oh, door. like oh. Yes. <laughs> I see the water coming out. Wow. Um, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. You mean there's even water inside this inside? Well, there's water in the lettuce. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, just so... like surprised. I didn't even realize that. Okay, I think you're good. Wow. So then I didn't even know there was anything you called can the press salad. Stop. Yeah. And you can check. I think it uh, looks uh. dry. Wow. Should I do it one this more time? This is magical. Time? Magical. This is magic. <laughs> I didn't know. So that's how <laughs> we dry our salad. And um, okay, so you guys, our salad's dry. I just want to set up plating, and we're gonna build our salad now. Okay. Cool, we'll be right back. So this is my favorite part. I love like plating because I feel like when you make food look good, yes. it just makes you want to eat mm -hmm. it better. It looks, it looks so we are building our taco salads. You can see our taco shells have come out pretty cool. And basically it's a free for all. So first things first, you're gonna put your salad Okay. In there, you can put as much as you want. You as see how much. nice and dry it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as many, as, I mean, this it's up to you. It's up to me. I mean, you know, okay. and, and you okay. know, you can also use okay. a bigger shell if you okay. want. Okay. So I more. use this. This is both for a serving size. You really this don't okay. need more than yeah. this, even if you're an adult man. Yeah. You don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me take some too. No, it's true now because some people now say, "Man's stomach is no." Everybody's stomach is the size of their wrist. So. 
Okay. Are you serious? I'm serious, so sis. No, are you serious? This is your stomach. I, all of us? All. No, it's not true. So baby, when you see baby's hand? It's not true. Some of us, our stomach is not like that. Some of us, are, <laughs> this is now has extension. <laughs> so extend here. You. Okay, so we've got our salad. I like mm. to put um, some cabbage. Okay. You can put whatever you want as well. Oh. We'll just start building and putting stuff on. Um, we have our chicken that we left to pan fry. I like it nice and crispy. Ooh, this looks good. You can put some for you? Nice. Um, I have tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes in my salad. Do you want some? I, I, I do, actually. Okay, here you I go. Do. And so this can actually like be a fun thing to do like with your girls. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Like a hangout, which... If you follow her Instagram, her girls are hilarious. <laughs> they literally don't even give, they don't give you no days off. No they, days off. No, they don't allow any excuses. <laughs> no That's what I like off. about your daughter. They don't take nonsense. No, they don't. don't allow excuses. <laughs> Kids are a blessing though, they're so funny. Should you want some avocado? Thank you. So, so you see, this is, you know, and, and for me, if I'm having this with friends, I might have chicken, I might have ground beef, I might have fish yeah, and other carrot. things. Oh yeah, here you go, some Thank carrot. You. And, um, oh, good question, I forgot. Okay, you guys, I got caught up with us building our salad. So I have a question. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> bridezillas, <laughs> come on, let's talk about it. Is it I mean, I feel like, <laughs> you know, was I a bridezilla? I feel like I tried, yeah. to be honest, thanks. Well, that she wasn't a bridezilla? No, because she knows me, and I'm very anal about wanting things done, but at the same time, I recognize the source of my stress is being unprepared. Mm -hmm. So I try as much as possible to be, be as prepared. prepared as possible, you know. So hey, Bridezilla. The Bridezilla question. Now, the thing about it is this. I think everybody always wants what they want. Yeah. And when anyone is getting married, it's yeah. their dream day. It's the day that they've dreamt all their lives. So I think that there's a Bridezilla in everyone. There's Agreed. a bridezilla in all brides. I mean, I absolutely love all our clients and all our brides. Right. You know, because I just believe that, you know, you just have to give people what they want because it's their dream day. Yes. Is there, yes. And, they're, and, they're, and they're thinking to themselves, it's going to happen only once. Okay. So before I ask you my last question, because me, you are not giving me the tea. You are packaging all this. <laughs> you are answering professionally. I'll ask you again later. No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, really. I just wanted to just point something out again about the condiments. When you're having a chicken, chicken taco salad, mm -hmm. a lot of time it comes with sour cream. Okay. Um, sour cream is good, but it's also fattening. And so oh. it's something that I would like us to be mindful, mindful of. of. Okay. So what I do is I take, this is sour cream. Okay. I'll put a little more for the two of us. And then I also take Greek yogurt. And this Greek yogurt is basically, you're putting in a, a couple of grams of extra protein. Oh, okay. into your salad because Greek yogurt is full of protein. Oh, yeah, I so I try and throw it into oh, my condiments. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. And just mix it together, know. you know, and that will that will go on top. So while we finish this, oh, yes, exactly. So it balances it off. Okay. We also have salsa and I like fruits to put into my salad. So I put a little apple, a little raisin because I'm not really a salad dressing person. So my last question, while we put our finishing touches on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on our salad, and I also like things to fall, it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, have you ever been to an event where you almost got like, maybe they were like shouting at you, or you got like almost beaten up, or there was mad drama, or you just were like, do you know what? Take your money, Joe. I want to survive. I don't want to discourage my, <laughs> my staff, you know. I think that we've had many experiences yeah. at different times. Mm -hmm. And because you're dealing with different personalities. Correct. When True. you're also doing events or you're planning events, you're also dealing with different people mm. in a committee or different, um, I would say, stakeholders. Yeah. So apart from the parents, apart from the couples, apart There's from so their friends. There's so many people's interests. You have in to, laws. You have some There's so many people, yes. So yeah. many people that you're dealing with. So you would experience at some point, some people will, will their personality will probably you know, Rob. probably get you robbed the wrong way. Great to you, again. But um, I think that one thing that I, I always tell my team, and yes. we are so big on is we're very big on customer service. Please. We're so very important. big on exceptional customer service. We don't play with it. Yes. And so for me, I look at every, yes, I look at every customer as they're probably having a bad day. 
or they're probably so frustrated or something happened that made them go this way and so we've never returned anyone's money we've never returned anyone's money we've come close to it really we've gone to corners and cried oh wow and thought oh my god what, what kind of place is this, is this? But guess what? Some of those clients have become our best clients. I've, I've, they've I've become find that. repeat clients. Like they recommended us. In fact, there was a client that something happened one day. I thought I, the client was gonna probably, you know, like kill me. But after the event, when I think the person even thought and realized that, wow, they still in spite went, of everything. Look at what they've done. And we got five more jobs from no that. No way. Client. Yes. So you power know? of patience, tolerating. Yes. But I think ultimately it's a high level of maturity. I agree. I it's agree a because high it's, level. It's, it's taken me years to get there, but I, and I've also been able to teach it to my team. Mm. So for us at Zafai, it's so critical for us that you have to understand that people are different. Yes. And they are going to be looking at each situation differently. differently. How are you treating them? I like what it. What are you doing? I, and, I, and you know they always say um, people will always remember how you made them feel. Yes. And I think for your industry, and even for me in like beauty service industry, I think it's key. Yes. You know how they walk away feeling from the service. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because sometimes I even have the, when I deal with people, it's either going to be like, okay, it was not a good experience. Okay, it was okay, but I'm never coming back. Yes. You know, there's different. Yes. yes. There are different levels. Ones. Of you might not fight mm -hmm. them, but you yeah. might just be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So thank you for that. Actually, even just listening, I actually learned quite a bit. To okay. take to, to, to take home and and I, I you know I just wish you well I really want to see bigger things not that we don't see you everywhere anyway yes, bigger events but I'm definitely interested to see where you know you're taking Zafire and just yes. this industry because Nigeria is, is turning into an, an, into another thing okay. in a good way in a good way in yes. a good way yes. so it's good to be part of it so should we try our food? All right, guys, so we are back. This is our favorite. You are already dancing. I'm ready to dig you in. You have been dancing for like five minutes. I'm ready. So you guys, <laughs> let's go. Chicken taco salad, low carb, healthy. Let's go. Dario Vidina Fat Girl Style. I like mixing in my topping, so it kind of creates like a... And I like to, I would like to eat so... like Sharon because I like the way, I always watch her eat. So I'm like going to learn, so I'm going to learn. I'm more. Mm. Now you also let me tell you, break the thing, bro. Mm. I like to jet up. Mmm. 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 Go I mean, and, it's, and it's easy to make. So easy. Oh. That is actually why I even started diving in a fat girl. Because I'm like, do people know how easy it is to make the healthier option? It's actually sometimes easier than making the normal option. So now you know how to make a salad. And it's nice. Mm-hmm. I didn't do like this. Not at my home. Not at my home. I the way I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I eat like that. But mm, when I come to weddings, I don't eat meat anyhow. Mm, once the meat mm. starts fighting with me, you slow it down. I'll just end it there. Because that thing can stop you from going places. To an event, yes. But I judge weddings based on small talk. <laughs> because if you do small talk and I see three puff puff, one samosa and one spring roll, please, it's better we do not have the small talk. Where's the mosa? Where's the prawns? Where's the pepper snail? Where's the grill? Me, I like all those food abroad small chops. So I know. All those bougie small chops. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Okay. So, what's that? What, 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 what rate do you give us? For this food? Mm -hmm. And my coke. First of all, I think that for my coke replacement, I give you 95 pieces for my coke replacement. Come now, for this one. Mm -hmm. To be truthful, I'm not really a salad person. Me either. But I'm actually enjoying it. And you're open to it. And it's not fake. It's not fake. They didn't pay yes. me to say this. I am enjoying we sure what I'm eating. I'm enjoying it. So this one, so maybe I'll give another 95%. Hey. Uh -uh. High scores. Update. Ah, uh, Esther. Esther. This is Esther. Uh -uh. You guys. 
Thank you so much. Come here, Dad. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we're still eating away, and I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care and God bless. Say bye bye now. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, my God, you're so funny. <laughs>